Yeah, I, I know. I did hear. Horses! Ready? Yeah, we're ready. We'll be fine. Is that James, my yeah, James? Yeah, that's not James. Yeah. Josh, Josh. Josh, Josh. Josh, Josh is spraying. Who, who do you need to... For the hard of hearing. <laughs> that's really, that's really hard. Subtitles for the hard of hearing. Is that what the film all about? <laughs> Josh, Josh and Noah. So, um... Sorry. <laughs> that's <laughs> really loud, Graham. Well, you can barely hear that. You can barely hear that. Yeah, to get it in braille on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what do you want to do if you want to have a chat with Graham and um, what? what well, I'll tell you what, what, give me five minutes and mm -hmm. I'll get this thing oh, okay. started and then I'm, I'm okay. freed up. Excellent. All right, no worries. Um, most of it's sold through the farmers market in Hampshire. So every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we go out to a different market in a different town. Romsey, Ringwood, Winchester, whatever. And then the rest of it goes into farm shops and delicatessens and a few pubs as well we supply. Graham was a river keeper on the test and in those days you were allowed to keep salmon when you caught them. Nowadays it's all catch and release, you have to put the fish back. And um, he just started as a hobby to smoke the fish and um, the fishermen liked it and so people kept asking us to do it. And then when we decided to move on from river keeping and we saw this place up for sale and the people here already did smoking slightly differently to what we do and um, so we decided to give it a go. People like to eat fish but they can't be bothered with the bones so this all they have to do is pull the lid off and there you go. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's easy. And it's very tasty as well. So. And the Ministry have always saying we've probably got the lowest stocking density that any farm that they've ever inspected, so there we go. Next batch. So we can get them feeding the fish. Yep. They're going to do some hot smokes as well in a minute. Yep. yep. So, oh, and they're opening up the smoker so you can see it being smoked in there. Wow. <laughs> you sound a bit sarcastic. No, 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 no. Wow, that's just what it was. That's why it was really hot, a bit of a cough issue. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm getting stuff out of there in a second. Now, this is hot smoked, hasn't it? Self explanatory. Hot smoked is. Uh, a different process to cold smoking. Cold smoking is basically curing stuff in a temperature less than 25 degrees C. These are cold smoked first and then they're hot smoked so you get a core temperature of 72 so they're safe. It's when you uh, smoke them you're in sort of ambient temperatures 20 to 25 centigrade so if you just put a raw fish in there you'd be it would be off basically so you've got to brine them first to uh, 
prevent any bacterial growth while they're going through the cold smoke process and then uh, you place it in the hot smoke and then you just cook them through really but with uh, with the aid of a good flow of smoke so you hot smoke so you cook it in the smoke and that will take anything from an hour and a half to two hours to make bits like this just to uh, depends on the humidity of the day the temperature of the day these are going to chill or short they cool down about three hours until they're down to about one degree, then they'll be vacuum packed and labelled and they'll be ready for distribution. Some Feeding the fish now. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a couple out for an order, so there's only a couple of small ones out of this pond. These have been starved for a couple of days now, so they uh, always starve them so there's no food in their gut active. And, and you just tempt them in, think they're going to get fed. Veggies amongst you. <laughs> Quick stone on the head, knock a bunch conscious. Uh. <laughs> and while the heart's still pumping, you cut the gills and it bleeds them out clean. It's always the bacteria in the blood that turns fish or meat sour. feed them now that they've given up their friends. What do you think so far now? Is it interesting? Are you liking it? Very exciting when they all leave hell. Yeah? Yeah. And I've never seen a fish murdered like that before. What, in cold blood? Yeah. <laughs> what are you about to do now? Filming. Uh, I'm about to knock out a fish. See when their eyes go fixed. How do you feel now, now? It's pretty intense. <laughs> pretty intense. It's, it's an experience. It's an experience. Whew. If you look online and look at other trout that are advertised and you look at that, it's got fully all the fins completely fully formed. Absolutely immaculate. That's what comes out in plenty of space. As soon as they start get, getting cramped, as I say, the disease gets in, but then they start pecking each other's fins when they're at a you know, young age. And, They'll just end up with stumps and when they're feeding off concrete they'll actually lose the bottom jaw, it'll be rubbed off, so you know it's just they look a real mess. But I saw someone on the website yesterday advertising their wonderful trout and uh, 
they're just abysmal. You can see these are absolutely pristine. Do you ever think you'd be in subject to documentary? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice surprise. Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> we'll wait and see the uh, finished product. <laughs>